Hey guys, my name is John Simo, and I'm a filmmaker from Canada. You may have seen my 360 content. I've been shooting with Insta360 cameras now for years. I want to share with you guys my top five tips for creating amazing visuals. Tip number one, camera settings. Whether you're shooting with an X2, X3, RS1 inch, or any other Insta360 camera, you want to be capturing with the highest possible resolution. In my case, it's typically 5.7K at 24 frames per second. The only time I'll bump down to 3K or 4K is when I'm capturing in slow motion, which is a reduction in sharpness, but having the ability to slow down my footage can come in handy depending on the shot. White balance. Normally, I'll keep the 360 camera in auto mode, and it does a great job. But if I'm in a setting that has mixed lighting conditions, then I'll dial in my color temperature using the presets in the camera. And finally, the picture profile. You've got three options here, vivid, standard, and log. Personally, if I'm shooting on the X2 or X3, I always shoot in standard mode, as it gives me nice saturation and contrast. The only time I shoot in log is when I'm using the bigger sensor on the RS1 inch. I find that this is the best way to get the most dynamic range out of the camera. If you're not an experienced editor or colorist and you shoot log, you're going to have a tough time color grading the footage back to something that looks good. Those are the three settings that I focus on when setting up my camera to shoot. Tip number two, shooting in 360. The number one mistake that I see a lot of 360 creators making is having the shutter speed set too low. When the shutter drops below 1 60th and you have quick motion, flow motion stabilization can't keep up and your footage starts looking like this. I always try to shoot with my shutter above 1 over 100. This prevents motion blurring and other weird artifacts. If I'm outside and I have a lot of light and the lighting conditions are even, then I'll keep the camera settings in auto mode. I set the exposure to negative one. This is because the cameras sometimes overexpose highlights and this protects them. When you're capturing content and it's a bright sunny day, you wanna make sure one of the 360 lenses is pointing towards the sun and the other lens away from it. This prevents weird stitch line issues from lens flares. Be aware of your stitch line. Don't get too close to your subject with the camera, otherwise the camera may cut into them creating bizarre effects like this. <laughs> Tip number three, mounting and more. This camera was made to be rigged to things. I've attached it to cars, motorcycles, people, and more. When I'm attaching my X3 to my motorcycle, I'm using the official Insta360 motorcycle mount, which has a sturdy clamp arm that has vibration dampening. I find a point on my frame and then attach the invisible selfie stick to the end. When filming cars, I'll either rig it using a suction mount with a selfie stick on the end, or I'll literally hold the pole out of the window or sunroof to get stable shots without risking the camera falling off the car. If you shoot through the sunroof and close it almost all the way, you can barely tell how the shot is being captured. It's really effective. 360 cameras also make incredible BTS capture devices, which I've mounted to my gear while shooting content. To do this, I just use a simple little arm attached to the gear. Tip number four, editing. This is where the fun starts. If you wanna create something quickly and use all of the fun AI features, then definitely use the smartphone app. You can create keyframes and reframe your video. You can deep track your subject. You can experiment with Shot Lab and let the AI effects make your videos next level. Or use my favorite and least talked about feature, Viewfinder. In Viewfinder mode, the app uses your phone's accelerometer to record the movement data and turn it into smooth keyframes. All you have to do is open your clip, click to Viewfinder, hit record, and then start moving your phone in whatever direction you like. This is by far the fastest way to create incredible, impossible shots. If you want to have more power and control, then hop over to the Insta360 Studio desktop app. From here, you can create keyframes, deep track, and bounce out all sorts of formats, resolutions, and aspect ratios. I love that you can create ProRes files from this app. It makes editing the footage a breeze in Premiere or Final Cut Pro. And if you want to go really advanced, you can open up After Effects and go wild. 
but that's for another tutorial. And finally, tip number five, get creative. 360 cameras are amazing because they let you do impossible things. So get creative with your stylish shots and really flex the power of these little cameras. You can mimic a drone by using the extended selfie stick. You can throw the camera in the air like a spear to follow your subject. You can fly through objects. You can reframe your video to create impossible angles. You can capture epic views of the stars. There are literally endless possibilities of what you can do, so get out there and create something amazing.